Good morning, friends. Um, my apologies for not being there to teach you directly. However, I am sick at home waiting for a COVID test. So I hope I hope that I'm back by Wednesday, Thursday at the latest, but it all depends on the testing system. So uh, here we are. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read through this story that you have in front of you. It's called La Journée Terrible. And it's a story that's using the past tense, both forms that we know. So la passe composé, so regular sentences using avoir as the helper verb, as well as the doctor and Mrs. Vandertramp verbs, those 17 verbs that use etre when they're conjugated into the past tense. So um, that's what we're focusing on. So try to recognize it as we read through. I'm going to read the story to you in French, but I'm going to pause after each paragraph, I think, and just kind of roughly run through the, the English with you. Now, my kids are here with me, so I will be interrupted. You will hear weird noises, but we're going to roll with it. Um, <coughs> the more I talk, the more I cough. So I'm just going to try to get through this quickly, and away we go. Okay? So, la journée terrible. C'était le matin. Mon alarm n'a pas fonctionné. Je levais en retard pour l'école. C'était huit trente. J'ai mis mes pantoufles. Qu'est-ce que? Mes pieds ont coincé dans mes pantoufles. J'ai renversé de la colle la nuit dernière quand j'ai travaillé sur mon projet. Je suis descendu les escaliers. Ma mère a dit, tu es en retard, vite, vite. So I woke up late, my alarm wasn't working, and I went to put on my slippers, but my feet stuck in my slippers. Um, I realized that I had flipped over my glue when I was working on a project the night before. So I went downstairs and my mom is telling me something I already know, that I'm late for school. Elle a fait de fromage grillé pour le petit déjeuner. J'ai mangé la fromage grillé très vite. Aïe, j'ai brûlé ma langue. C'était trop chaud. J'ai eu des cloques sur ma langue. Oh là là, c'était terrible. J'ai pris de la glace. Je suis monté les escaliers. J'ai mis de la glace sur ma langue. Il a amélioré. Je suis descendu les escaliers. Je suis tombé dans les escaliers. So mom made me a grilled cheese for breakfast. It was too hot. I was eating it too fast. It was too hot. I burnt my tongue. Had to put ice on my tongue. Um, I went back upstairs. And then when I was coming downstairs, I fell down the stairs. This is, I mean, the title of the story, I think, speaks for itself. All right. Aïe, j'ai crié. Mon bras a cassé. J'ai appelé ma mère. Elle m'a aidé. J'ai entendu l'autobus. J'ai regardé ma montre. C'était 8h45. Oh non, le bus est parti sans moi. Ma mère a dit n'inquiète pas, mais nous devons aller au l'hôpital. Je suis entrée dans sa voiture. Elle a conduit. J'ai pensé, hmm, un jour sans l'école, peut-être c'était pas si mal. So, um, after I fell down the stairs, I realized that my arm was broken, so I called out to my mom who helped me. Um, but while she was helping me, I heard the bus, I looked at my watch, I'm late for school. And for some reason, even though my arm is broken, I'm still worried about being late for school. Mom's like, hey, don't worry about it. Um, we're not going to school. I need to get you in my car. We need to go to the hospital. So while uh, she's driving, I'm thinking um, maybe a day without school isn't the worst thing. Okay, so that's the idea, the main ideas in English behind the story. Um, so keep that in mind because tomorrow you will be writing a dictionary um, with friends, with with partners or groups or whatever. You'll be able to work together with computers. The supply teacher will go through that with you tomorrow. Um, but for today, uh, turn your paper over. You should have two sections. And the first section says that you need to find the sentences that use etra instead of a war. That means they're Dr. and Mrs. Vandertramp verbs, those 17 special verbs. You know these. So make sure that you're looking through the story, looking for those Vandertramp verbs, and that's really going to help you find the sentences you need to find. The second section is identifying five past tense sentences that use avoir. So that's essentially any other past tense sentence that, we've, that you know uses avoir. So look for j'ai, tu a, il, elle, Ah, nous avons, vous avez, any of those avoir conjugations that you know inside out, if it has that, it's probably going to be a sentence that you can use there, okay? Um, so good luck with this. 
I really hope to be returning uh, earlier rather than later. Um, but until then, be good. Good luck. And je vous souhaite une bonne journée. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye, friends.